Did you know if you add up all the numbers from 1 to 100 consecutively, 1 plus 2 plus 3, it totals 5,050. You can manually add all the numbers, tedious and time-consuming. But Mr. Gauss developed a method that makes that a bit quicker. It's called the Gaussian sum, or use chat GPT modern-day solutions. But is it better this way? Peppers are a fruit, not a vegetable. And technically, they are classified as a type of fruit called a berry. Did you know that Dalmatians are born completely white? Their distinctive black or brown spots don't appear until several weeks later. This occurs due to the activation of melanocytes, the cells responsible for producing pigment in the skin and hair, a process known as delayed pigmentation. Did you know Brazil is named after a tree? The tree is called the Paul Brazil. This translates from Portuguese to Brazil wood. The wood was prized for the vibrant red dye that could be extracted from it. Explorers brought this wood back to Europe, and the name Paul Brazil eventually became associated with the land itself. Over time, Terra do Brazil, or Land of Brazil, was shortened to simply Brazil. Crocodiles can't move their tongues, which provides them with two main benefits. Firstly, a fixed tongue ensures it doesn't get accidentally bitten when the crocodile snaps its powerful jaws shut to catch prey. Secondly, the membrane on the tongue helps with water retention while the crocodile's mouth is open. When lightning strikes sand, it creates a natural wonder known as a fulgurate, a glassy tube formed by the intense heat. An octopus pupil is rectangular. This is different from the round pupils of humans or the slit pupils of cats. The rectangular shape allows the octopus to control how much light enters their eye more precisely and also contribute to their excellent peripheral vision, allowing them to see a wider range of movement around them. Did you know white cats with blue eyes are more likely to be deaf? Here are some statistics to consider. Only about 17 to 22 percent of white cats with non-blue eyes are deaf. The risk jumps to around 40 percent for cats with one blue eye. And the percentage rises significantly for cats with both eyes blue, with deafness affecting upwards of 65% to 85%. So while white cats with blue eyes have a higher chance of deafness, it's not a guarantee. If you have a white cat with blue eyes, it's important to have them checked by a veterinarian to determine their hearing ability. Australia was originally called New Holland by European explorers and map makers. In 1824, it was formally changed from New Holland to Australia derived from the Latin word Australis, meaning southern. A porcupine's quills are just extremely enlarged, specialized hairs that have unusually, compared to other mammals, thick layers of keratin, which is the main structural component of hair and fingernails, among other things. These thick layers of keratin make porcupine quills extremely rigid. This unique adaptation allows them to serve as effective defensive structures, while it is widely known that hippopotamuses produce distinctively pink milk due to the presence of a special pigment, yaks also exhibit a temporary pinkish hue in their milk after giving birth. This pinkish or reddish coloration in yak milk is caused by the presence of small amounts of blood from the birthing process, which mixes with the initial milk. However, as the yak continues to lactate, the blood is gradually cleared and the milk regains its normal white or off-white color. Synesthesia is a neurological phenomenon in which the stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leads to an involuntary experience in another sensory or cognitive pathway. In other words, when one sense is activated, another unrelated sense is also stimulated. This can result in unusual and vivid experiences, such as seeing colors when hearing sounds or associating specific tastes with certain shapes or numbers. Synesthesia is believed to have a neurological basis, likely related to increased connectivity or cross-wiring between different sensory areas in the brain. It is thought to be a congenital condition. It's a relatively rare condition, with estimates suggesting that it affects around 4% of the population to varying degrees. 
There are various forms of synesthesia, depending on the senses involved. Some common examples include Lexical gustatory synesthesia is sensed tasting specific flavors or experiencing taste sensations when hearing or reading certain words. Graphemi color synesthesia consists of associating letters or numbers with specific colors. Sound color synesthesia is like perceiving colors when hearing sounds or music. The bowhead whale is also known as the Arctic whale because it lives only in Arctic waters, unlike other whales that migrate to feed. The bowhead whale is by far the longest living mammal on the planet. Some bowhead whales have been seen with ivory spears still lodged in them from failed attempts by whalers over 200 years. A chrysalis and a cocoon are different. A chrysalis is the pupil stage of butterflies characterized by a hard skin that forms after the caterpillar's final molt, typically attached to a surface by a silk pad. In contrast, a cocoon is a silk casing spun by moths and certain other insects to enclose and protect their pupae. While a chrysalis is an exposed structure specific to butterflies, a cocoon is an external silk covering used mainly by moths. Capsaicin, the thing that makes peppers hot, is fat-soluble, and thus water will be of no use in countering the burning sensation, other than the fact that if it is cold water, it will temporarily overpower the capsaicin's effect on the nerve receptors and tell your brain you are feeling a cold sensation. But once the cold water is gone, the heat will come back straight away, not lessened at all until the capsaicin is gone. Dairy products work best to counteract capsaicin because they contain a protein called casein which binds to the capsaicin, hindering its ability to bind to your nerve receptors. Don't forget to subscribe. Cyanide poisoning works by not allowing the body to use oxygen, so the blood remains oxygenated after it passes through your body and back to the lungs. Thus it causes the body to suffocate even though the lungs are working properly. But how does this work? Let's break this down. Cyanide interferes with cellular respiration, preventing cells from utilizing oxygen even though oxygen is present. It binds to and inactivates an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase, which is crucial for the electron transport chain that generates ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. Without this enzyme working, cells cannot extract oxygen's electrons to produce ATP, the energy currency cells need to function. So while the blood remains oxygenated, the cells are unable to use the oxygen, causing cellular asphyxiation and rapid depletion of ATP stores. This metabolic poisoning results in the organs, especially oxygen-hungry ones like the brain and heart, quickly failing despite adequate oxygen supply in the blood. All the blinking in one day equates to having your eyes closed for 30 minutes, on average, of course. Camel milk generally isn't as prone to curdling as cow's milk. There are some of reasons for this. Cow's milk contains a higher amount of a specific protein called K-casin. This protein plays a crucial role in the curdling process. Camel milk has lower levels of K-casin, making it less likely to curdle. Also, the structure of fat and mineral content in camel milk differs from cow's milk. Camel milk has a slightly higher pH compared to cow's milk. The pH level of camel milk is around 6.5, 6.7, whereas cow's milk is around 6.4, 6.6. This slightly higher pH makes camel milk less acidic, reducing the tendency for the proteins to coagulate and form curds. It also contains higher levels of certain antimicrobial agents, such as lysozyme and lactoferrin. These compounds inhibit the growth of bacteria that can produce lactic acid, a substance that contributes to the curdling process. A cat's whiskers are also just specialized hairs. With cats, these hairs are attached to nerves, allowing them to work as extremely sensitive sensory receptors. The nerves at the base of the whiskers are actually sensitive enough to be able to pick up even small air movements which vibrate the whiskers. 
They are so sensitive that cats can even pick up air movements indoors, such as air flowing around furniture, which lets the cat know there is an object there, even when it is pitch dark. This is essential for cats because they are far-sighted and have trouble seeing things clearly close up. Switzerland embraces its identity as the world's most prolific chocolate consumer, with the average citizen devouring a remarkable 22 pounds, 10 kilograms of chocolate annually, a reflection of the nation's renowned chocolate-making prowess and culinary heritage. So what did you think of those mind-boggling facts? Did any of them leave you questioning your reality? If you're still buzzing from that knowledge overload, I challenge you to share your favorite fact in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more brain-bending content that will keep you coming back for more.